Hey everyone, it's Harry Frankfurt and I'm a girl, so if you like girls, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Now, as you guys should know, I am a girl and I'm just like every other girl, because if you're a girl, you're basically exactly the same as anyone else with a vagina. And I know there are a lot of you who really want to know what it takes to get in my pants and how you can sleep with me. And thankfully, because all girls are exactly the same, it really just takes one simple, easy step. There's this amazing guy here on YouTube that goes by the username Prank Invasion, and he is known for getting girls that he's never met before that definitely aren't paid actresses. He'll just meet them on the street and get them to make out with him. He's literally so incredible at getting girls and women because he's very heterosexual. Anyways, so this prank invasion guy who's really good at getting into girls' pants uh, has made a video about how to sleep with any woman you want. So we're gonna watch it with me, a girl, a certified girl, and I'm gonna tell you whether or not these things are true or not. And, you know, you will get to sleep with me at the end of this video, so make sure you subscribe. What up invaders, Chris here. So his name is actually Chris and I love that name. Oh my God, it's such a sexy name. All right, so you're on that date with that sexy senorita. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention, this only works on sexy senoritas. Like the ugly ones, it doesn't really work on them. So just, just keep that in mind, it's only sexy senoritas. Everything is going amazing. End of the night rolls up. What do you do? What do you say? I mean, you definitely don't say, hey, I had a great night or anything like that. Like, you don't tell her that you had fun. Don't do what you think you should. Don't do what feels comfortable. Just listen to this guy. To make sure she comes back home with you. Yeah, um, the amount of times where I've been on a date and it's gone to the end and it's gone really, really well and then he hasn't done whatever he's about to tell you to do and I've gone home with some Someone else all the time in this video I'm gonna give you guys my one dirty little secret yeah um, I may have forgotten to mention but this is a dirty little secret because that's what straight men say about getting laid here's the secret plant a seed early on the date about something cool at your place yeah if a guy hasn't told me in the first two minutes of a date something that is in his place of living then I'm definitely not gonna sleep with him like there's just no way if I don't know something about where he lives or something like I'm not gonna sleep with him after that day and I, I need to know like tell me tell me what kind of sheets you have tell me something about your place because uh, that really turns me on and gets me super duper attracted and makes me want to sleep with you on the first date because you know uh, when you tell me about the color of your curtains it just gets me super duper moist and there's like no no helping that right so yeah he's definitely onto something for example at my place I have a sick view of the Disneyland fireworks oh yeah yeah uh, when I think about fireworks automatically horny as anything and like dripping wet absolutely like I would I would jump him just by saying that about the fireworks something I'd say on a date if I were single I'd be like hey when was the last time you saw the Disneyland fireworks oh, okay cool I have this amazing view from my balcony we should I also love it when guys use a scripted line and I know that he's used it on every other girl he's ever gone on a date with like you know, hey, when was the last time that you saw the fireworks? I know, I know that I'm not special, and I love not feeling special at all. Just like every other girl that you use it on. We love it. We really, really, really love it. Lots. It doesn't sound needy at all, like, hey, uh, wanna go back to my place? It doesn't sound needy at all, and it definitely makes me think that you are wanting to sleep with me. The, the, the connection is just super duper obvious when you mention fireworks that you're talking about sex. I mean, obviously not everyone has a view of the Disneyland fireworks. So for you, when you talk about the view of the Brisbane River, I know you mean sex. I'm onto you. That dirty water doesn't mean like the river. It means you want to fuck. Sorry guys, my SD card got full, but we're back and we're going to learn some more about how to get in my pen. Guys, girls know exactly what you're trying to do when you say that. Exactly. We know exactly what you mean when you say, do you want to come back to my place? 
and we hate honesty so please lie to us tell us that you want to introduce us to your dog or you know show us this really cool gadget that you've got at your place I love it when I think that I'm just hanging out with a friend and I find out that they actually really want to have sex with me love that there's nothing better than that you don't want to make the girl feel like you're going back to your place just to hook up. No, exactly. You really don't want to make it feel like I'm just coming over to your place to like have sex with you. So tell me that I'm coming over for a reason that is a lie and then, you know, have me come over just to have sex with me. That's like, that fixes everything. That fixes absolutely everything, honestly. Do something else to watch the view, to play a game. What was that? Hang on, let's, let's have a look at that again. Play a game. <laughs> mm. And then if something happens, it happens. Honestly, all girls are exactly the same and we all absolutely love the idea of being lured into having sex with you, you know, coerced into having sex with you because we thought we were going to be doing something that we agreed to. I love that idea. It's great. It's really great. We all love it. Women are all for that. Please, please lie to us. You need to lie to women more. Like, we don't get enough lies, and we can't tell what you're talking about if you're telling the truth. Like, I want to be a little bit confused. I want you to say, come back and meet my dog, and then me be like, oh my god, he wants me to meet this dog. Does this mean that he, like, has feelings for me, or does he just want to dick me? And then if it turns out that he wants to dick me, then, like, I'm all for that. Fuck yeah. I didn't come over to meet your dog. I came over because I wanted sex. But, you know... Would, would meet your dog anyways, right? Look, I bet a lot of you guys are thinking, I don't have anything cool at my place. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do. It could be something as simple as a board game. Do you have Monopoly? Please, please tell me, tell me we're gonna play Monopoly. I bet you anything he is about to talk about Monopoly. Love Monopoly. That shit gets me so bad like Monopoly. He did say Monopoly! He's fucking talking about Monopoly. Seriously, in high school, don't you remember saying, I'm gonna go play Monopoly with my boyfriend? That's, I would, I would, yeah, no, I wouldn't feel like you're just wanting to have sex with me if you said, come over, let's play Monopoly. <laughs> wouldn't feel loud at all, but I would really want it, you know? I'd be like, man, I wish he just wanted to fuck me. It's making me really horny that he wants to play Monopoly with me. Tell the girl, hey, I just bought the board game Monopoly. I have no one to play. What kind of person buys a board game for themselves? Oh, sorry, no. Anyone, you know. Um, I, I love it when guys buy themselves board games that require more than one player when they live on their own. Because um, it gives me a reason to get dicked. I love it. Please. I want to play Monopoly with you. You don't have to say, hey. Let's go back to my place. You can just say, hey, you and me, Monopoly, let's go. If I was on a date with someone and they're like, you and me, Monopoly, I'd be like, man, I was hoping this date was going for sex. I was looking forward to the sex. And then I'd go and play the Monopoly and I'd be like, okay, this is fun, but when am I gonna get dicked? Please, lie to us more. Okay, guys, I think you get the general idea of how to get any woman you go on a date, sorry, any sexy senorita that you go on a date with that is going well. Please, lie to us more. I, I think you get how to um, get your, your bits in her bits now. Uh, so next time you take me on a date, in the first you know five minutes or so of meeting me, tell me about your board game. Tell me about your Uno collection. Tell me about Monopoly. And it gets me so fucking wet that I literally wish the date was over already so I could fucking jump your bones. Like, it's just such such an easy trick. It's like a dirty little, it's such a dirty little secret. Tell me about your Monopoly. Please tell me about your Monopoly. I really want to play Monopoly with you. And that's how you get any girl, because we're all the same. We all just love Monopoly. Love it. We love Monopoly so much. Please, lie to us more. We really want to play Monopoly with you. So within the first five minutes of a date with a sexy senorita, not those ugly fugly bitches, with a sexy senorita, mention Monopoly, we get dripping wet and we need to come back and change our panties at your place. Please, lie to us more. It's just the only, it's, it's the easiest, dirty, dirty, dirty little secret. And that's, that's how you could get in my pants. Talk about Monopoly. Fucking 
retards.